Okay, a while back here on the channel, I did an investing experiment where I put $1,000 into an investing account with Betterment and I didn't contribute any more money for the entire year. The next year, I decided to contribute $50 per month and then the next year, I decided to do the same thing. So how much money have I actually earned in the past two years by investing just $50 per month? Stick around and find out in this video. Hey guys, it's Justine with Debt Free Millennials, the channel to help you crush your debt and live payment free and invest very easily. I want you to stick around to the end of the video because I'm going to tell you exactly the steps that you need to take in order to replicate what I've been able to achieve inside of Betterment. In fact, let's go ahead and hop into my Betterment dashboard and I'll show you exactly how much money I've earned. Okay, we are in you guys. Let's take a look at the performance of my Betterment investing account. And then I'm gonna look back at the last two full years of investing here. So I'm gonna do January 2020 to December of 2021. So what I love about Betterment, the dashboard is very easy to use and it's not all cluttered with a whole bunch of jargon that I don't understand. So if you take a look at the balance, you'll see this blue line of where my money has kind of gone up and down as the stock market has gone up and down. And then you'll see kind of this purple area where it kind of stair steps up and up and up. And that's my $50 monthly contribution limit. So when my initial balance at the start of 2020 was $1,234.31. Now I mentioned I had invested $1,000. I think this was 2019 that I started this account. And then I earned interest and got a return of $200. $34. And so over time, you can see I actually lost money at one point. I lost money right around the start of the pandemic. And then things went dramatically in a positive direction because I ended up depositing $1,150 over those two years and I made $630.66. You can see down here at the bottom, you can see the market changes, the dividends that I was paid out minus the management fees. Now, Betterment has a 0.25% management fee and then there are fund fees, but what I I like about Betterment is that they're very transparent with that fee and it was just five bucks to use their platform. So I thought that was pretty good. Also, you can see on the time weighted investment returns that I did an annualized investment return of 14.6%. Another thing going back up here to the chart is that you can see like the gap between my balance, what I actually had earned in my investments and then what I was depositing was really small. So I'd only earned maybe, you know, at one point, $60, $157. And so as I stayed patient, stayed the course, did not change the amount that I was investing, did not change what I was invested in, I've actually wound up with earning $868 at one point. So I am very happy with that. How can you duplicate this for yourself? I'm gonna share exactly what I did. I'm not a financial advisor or a CFP, so take all of this information as educational purposes only, and there's no guarantees with the stock market. There's always going to be a risk of losing your money, but it totally is, I think, one of the best ways to grow your money and to build wealth is investing it in the stock market, hands down. So here's exactly how you can do this for yourself. First things first, when you get logged into Betterment and get signed up, which I will share my referral link below, and then you can get part of your management fees waived, which is amazing. You get to select exactly what type of account you want to set up. So you could do a general investing account like what I did, or you could do a, a typical retirement account. You do a traditional or Roth IRA or even a self-employed IRA through Betterment. Once you get that set up, you can select your portfolio strategy. So I'm gonna go in here and show you which ones that you can do. So under holdings, you'll see my portfolio strategy is 90% stocks in 10% bonds. So my portfolio strategy is pretty aggressive. I still have a lot of time on my hands and I'm really using this as an experiment account. 
If I go under portfolio strategy and click edit, I'm under the core portfolio strategy, which is one of their most popular strategy. And so if you're the type of person that is like, I don't wanna research indiv individual stocks, individual funds, or I don't have time for it, then Betterment would be a good place for you to go because they already have those stocks selected for you inside of these portfolios. So I'm currently in the core portfolio strategy, but there are other ones like socially responsible investing, innovative technology, which this one kind of caught my eye. And then there are some other ones here where you can, you know, do your own, you can customize things, whole bunch of stuff. I'm just doing core because I want to keep it simple and that's how my brain works. Once you pick that core strategy, then you can go in and adjust the automatic contributions if you want to. You don't have to do automatic contributions, but I hope that it shows when you do an automatic contributions and set it up, regardless of what the stock market does, does, whether it tanks or whether it explodes, it's been beneficial for me, right? Over time, as you keep that money in there, the longer you keep that money in there, the more chance and likelihood that it has to grow. And then once you pick your portfolio strategy, they're gonna show you exactly what they're holding on to. And a lot of these funds are actually Vanguard funds, which you guys know if you've been watching the channel for a while that I'm a huge advocate for Vanguard index funds. In fact, my retirement primarily is invested with Vanguard directly. But I love using something like Betterment as a robo-advising platform where it's a little bit hands-off and I can experiment and see what is working well with this platform. So you can see down here at the bottom that I have a 0.06% uh, fund fee for the year. And you can actually change that to a dollar amount. So I'm paying $1.67 to be invested inside of these funds on top of that management fee of the five dollars okay so as of now i have over three thousand dollars invested inside betterment it was really simple the first year i didn't invest anything the last two years i've been investing just fifty dollars per month it's done it's simple <laughs> i think you should try it and see what happens even a little bit can make all of the difference especially if you are just starting out in your career you're just getting started with investing even just a little bit can make a world of a difference later on your future self will thank you sign up for betterment using the link below and i'll catch you in the next one <laughs>